Hello friends, welcome to another Stream of Consciousness video. If you haven't watched one of these before, it's where I talk to you about a topic that's been on my mind a lot recently. So grab something warm to drink and get cozy. I'll try to keep it brief. I was listening to an interview with Dr. Vivek Murthy, the U.S. Surgeon General, on happiness. I found it incredibly insightful, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that interview in the description below. So one of the topics that he discussed in this interview was intrinsic versus extrinsic motivations. Extrinsic motivations include things like wealth, fame, and power. Things that we often equate with success. And usually, our definition of success tends to be synonymous with our definition of happiness. These extrinsic goals are nice, of course. They bring a sense of comfort and security. But after a certain point, the happiness that can be achieved from chasing these goals are short-lived and not wholly satisfying. Intrinsic goals, on the other hand, are things like our relationships, faith, family, and friends. These things are less tangible and easily taken for granted. We may think that our relationships will always stay the same, when in reality, building meaningful connections with the people that we love takes both time and effort. Allowing our relationships to fall by the wayside is easily done but not so easily remedied. At the end of their lives, people tend to place a higher value on intrinsic versus extrinsic things. Like they say, on their deathbed, nobody ever says, I wish I put in more overtime. These days, we may not be able to be as physically present for our loved ones as we would like. However, ask yourself, when you are with family and friends, are you fully present? I know I am guilty of this. With all the bad news and stress around us, it's easy to want to check out and escape. Sure, it's nice every once in a while. The problem is when it becomes the default. I am trying to be more mindful of the quality of my time that I am giving to my loved ones. Asking a friend how they are and taking the time to actually listen to their concerns. And I mean really listen. Being fully attentive and not formulating a response in your mind as they speak. Time is our scarcest resource and to give that to another person just shows how much they mean to you. It's so easy to dehumanize people. Especially with our lives becoming more and more digital, we start to treat people like property. Or, as Dr. Murthy says, we use people and cherish things when it should be the other way around. Do you really care about what the other person is going through? Do you care enough to see them as a whole being with their own set of problems, wants, and needs? People often chase after extrinsic goals because it's something that we can measure. The amount of money you have in the bank or the followers on social media. Pinning your self-worth on these things can be so dangerous as they are metrics that could easily disappear in an instant. Dr. Murthy says, intrinsic motivations on the other hand, our ability to give and receive love, will bring you a deeper sense of joy. And I truly believe that placing greater value on our relationships will also lead to a life with less regrets. Why bring this up? Why is this even on my mind? Well, a lot of you here now are new to my channel. Thanks for coming. I really do appreciate it. Because of the influx of new people, I find myself wanting to create more entertaining content rather than following my why for this channel, which is to have another venue of self-expression and hopefully to help somebody else along the way. If you've been here for a while now, you may have noticed that this isn't exactly a new painting. I painted this back in August. It was something that I was so proud of at the time and excited to share. In the voiceover, I reflected on my relationship with art, a place for me to go to to experience peace and calm. I filmed all three paintings but only shared one third of that footage here on YouTube. In 
In fact, I shared that video on August 4, and on August 12, I wrote in my journal that I decided not to post the other videos, since that video did not do so well. But do well according to whom? YouTube's metrics? It may not have gotten the most amount of views, but I remember having many meaningful conversations that came from sharing that video. I had fallen into the trap of basing my self-worth on extrinsic things. There's more of you here, and I am grateful. But if you are expecting weekly vlogs and the constant fun and chaos that might have brought you here, I'm just going to let you know that may be a part of me, but it's not all of me. Sometimes I will share those aspects with my life, but sometimes I will also slow down and share my thoughts and feelings. Because even if it's not as much fun, I want to live my life in the service of others, and I truly believe that making content that's meaningful to me will also resonate and help somebody else out there. If that seems like something you'd be interested in, then welcome to the fam. If it's not, then no hard feelings. I completely understand. We all come to this space for different reasons, right? This is my extremely long-winded way of saying I don't have a fun vlog for you this week and I'm not going to pressure myself into making one as well. What I do have for you is my honesty and as usual, my vulnerability. And for now, I hope that's enough. <laughs>